Working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing. Especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. It's always good to have backup. Exactly. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. I guess they were seen coming out of it all right, so maybe... Maybe now they'll, you know... You saying that losing my boy is a good thing? Oh, Jesus, no, I didn't mean that. Look, if the church gets compromised and the coursers are on our tail, at least you're not putting more people in harm's way. That's all. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So, I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so... It's a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me, I got nothing. And that, well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. What's the recall code do? That's the safety net the brain docs put in. An ejector seat to bring back your old synth self. I don't know for certain, but I imagine it's a big old wad of trauma and cupcakes. Except with no cupcakes. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You? You founded the railroad? Sure, me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're gonna hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're gonna pay for it. So what's the railroad's deal? We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one. One synth at a time. And care about the little guys. Maybe lend a hand on the side. Not as much as some would like, but hey, it's something. But the real question is, what do you think of us? And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. <laughs> Truth is, it's been a long time since I had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot, a very violent bigot. Were you really that bad? Worse than that. 
I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. You killed someone? That one was enough for me. It was his eyes. Those eyes haunt me. It's bulging. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was, she just was. She sounds special. Being with her made me feel like the whole world had a chance. That one day we could climb out of this wreckage. She could do that to people. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a sin. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but there was blood. I'm sorry. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. After what happened to my family, I can understand. I thought you might. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Hey, everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type, so yeah, good talk. I've had this mug for too long. Might be time for a new face.